Inside the members area, you can directly see in your dashboard the number of subscribers you have, the total number of visits, unique visits and bounce rates, average conversions and traffic, and the average time spent of your visitors. You have four different options of creating visibs. You can either choose site visib, exit visib, lock and auto visibs. Let's go through each visib type one by one starting with the site visib. You start by clicking, clicking create, click visib. You then enter the campaign name and importantly, entering the URL of the website you wanted to share. In this example, I wanted to share this news from CNN regarding why Singapore has the smartest kids in the world. All we need to do is to copy the URL and paste it inside the enter the URL text box. After entering the details, you click on next. Inside, you will be able to see how your visibs will look like at the top of the page as you can see here. We can change the text inside the editor's area where you have the font options from size, color, font family, etc. You could also see the different other options of your visibs, but the most important option is to select the call to action. In the call to action option, you have five different types. You can either choose button, link, opt-in form, FB like, plus retweet, or social share. Any changes done in your visibs can be automatically previewed as seen on top of the page. For the site visit, let's choose the social share. We enter the link of your website you wanted to share. In this case, I wanted to share Add Hero, then click on Next. <coughs> You will then be shown how the visibs will look like. You can select which part of the page you want to display the visibs. It's either top left, top center, top right, bottom, etc. Which in this case, I will just use the top left and I click create visib. Then you will have the visib link that you can copy and share the news regarding the Singapore having the smartest kids. We can verify the visibs link by clicking copy and pasting it on the address bar of your internet browser. As you can see, the news from CNN is displaying in your VSIPS URL and you can also see the social share that will help you generate leads for your website. Let's click on share via Facebook by clicking on share Facebook. Make sure that you are logged into your Facebook account and if not, just enter your credentials. Social share via Facebook gives you the user the option to post it via his timeline or via the pages that he manage. In this case, I want to post it on my timeline and I will just click share link. Now let's see if the link was successfully added to my timeline. And there you go. The line or the link was added into my timeline. Now let's try the exit visibs. Just like the site visib, click on create exit visib. Enter the campaign name and enter the URL you wanted to share with your friends. Select the opt-in form you wanted to use from the different templates that we have provided and click next. Unlike the site visibs where you have five different call to action bu buttons, exit visibs gives you three different call to action buttons, the opt-in form, FB like, the sweet tweet, and the social share. You can as easily edit your opt-in form template by changing the images, adding text, or embedding a video from YouTube. Once you are happy with your form, you click save and you click preview. You can either select finish or go back to editing your opt-in form. By clicking finish, it will provide you with a visit links that you can start to share to your friends. Your visits for exit visit will appear once your mouse goes over or above the address line of your web browser. Once it detects that your mouse is above the address bar, VSIPs will take it as you are about to exit the page and displays the opt-in form that you have created. Creating an auto visib is actually using an RSS feed from any of your favorite RSS links. Auto visibs allows you to create auto visibs either daily, weekly, or monthly based on the RSS feeds. You also have to select which type of visibs that you are from your existing visibs campaign that you wanted to use, and that will be used by your auto visibs. Once you have selected, you can click finish and copy the visibs URL and start sharing. Managing your published visibs is easy. Just go to manage visibs and you can do the editing of, the, of any visibs that you have published already.